Thanks very much for tuning in again this week. We're so delighted and pleased that you're here. And if you haven't already, please hit that all important subscribe button and join us as we renovate this farm in Northern Portugal. And if you're not already following us over on Instagram, <laughs> head on over, we're at the newbies. Great, on with the show. On with the show. It is a new week, but it's still raining. <laughs> yeah. Now, maybe you're gonna say to us, that's what Northern Portugal is all about, which maybe it is. <clears throat> Thing is though, it's about to become almost impossible to get into the farm, isn't it, love? Yeah, because it's like quagmire at the it front. It is gate. like a quagmire. Um, anyway, um, we're bundling the children up to go to the shops quickly, but also, most excitingly, to meet with the plumber. He's um, taking the boiler off to put it back on again in the new room. I've, I took the boiler off. Oh, well done. But he's putting it back on and okay. re-plumbing it because all the plumbing at the moment is inside the um, is inside the walls. So right. he's got to smash into the walls, take the plumbing out. Put it back in again. Put it back in again. Sawyer's got a lot to say. Yeah. Um, and if anybody thought it was easy living in Portugal with two kids in the rain, it's really not. <laughs> so there's the road to the house. We actually can't get down there right now. We have to park up here because. Yeah, we don't want to go down there. We we'll get We're stuck. gonna need a four by four, love. Come on, Crusoe. Come on! Quick, quick, quick! Quick, quick, quick! Come on! We have a very, very filthy Crusoe, aren't we, Crusoe? Eh? <laughs> You've got sore hands. Okay. He's dad of the year. Oh my goodness, look at it. Wowzers. And the problem is, I suppose, we have like the plumbers and the builders and everybody coming in and out, in and out, in and out. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Look at that, it's like trenches. Oh dear. Cool, so plumber's on his way. Have a chat to him, let him know what to do. The best news is as well, we've spoken to him already and in December, when we are heading back to um, my family in Zimbabwe for Christmas, Roy, the plumber, is gonna be able to come and fix this house. If you remember from when we were here before, there's a load of water leaking into the wall, um, which we still haven't got round to fixing because we couldn't find a plumber to come and do it. But Roy is saving the day. It's starting to really cool in here, love. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. coming along. Good job. Amazing. Roy's got this pretty handy piece of kit that heats up the pipe okay. and glues it together. Fancy. Fancy. It's so lovely to have this little man here with us and for him to be getting to know the farm. Hopefully we'll be back in again living full time yeah, soon so that soon. we can bring him out every morning to see the trees because yeah. he's really like yesterday he had a whole day outside and it was just so nice, yeah, we, isn't it? We don't want the kids near the dust just now. No, so, so a few more days. Well, well, a few more days, it won't be long, days. yeah. It won't be long. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Maybe at the end of the week we can be looking to... Look at that little thing. Should we get out of here, leave them to it and head off to the shops quickly, get what you need? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Look at the plumber. He's oh a dear. <laughs> Man. We're going to have to pave this road, love. Yeah, we will. But we've got to dig it up first. Are you ready? We are ready. <laughs> so this hardware store is about 10 minutes away from our farm. Um, super easy to get to. I've never been here before. Yeah. Right, we need to go and get some plaster for the plasterer. Come on, Crusoe, let's do it. This way. You coming? Cemento alto. Temperatura. Temperatura. Got it. Oh, it's kicking off here. What's happening? We've got a big lorry. Yeah. So we've got to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got the plaster and we got the angles for what the plaster. For cemento alto. Te alto. We got to go to a different shop for Cemento Alto Temperatura. Yes, well yes. done you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> do you know when you when we finally do learn some Portuguese, 
it's probably all going to be building Dad. materials. Dad. Yeah, probably will, yeah. yeah. You see a digger, buddy? <laughs> Come on then, let's go and have a look at the digger. What's the digger doing, buddy? What's it digging for? Looks like we found what we need. Well, I don't know whether it's quite the right stuff. We might be bringing it back, but um, it does have English on the back, and it does say it's the temperature's up to 1,100 degrees. Oh, well, surely. But it's not a colour, it's grey. So we'll have to change it afterwards, I think. Crusoe has been in his absolute element because there are diggers and tipper trucks and forklifts. Come on, Crusoe. you got to go. Pay. you got to go, buddy. Right, um, we are, Crusoe and I, we just dropped off Tara at Lida's house so that she can um, do what she's got to do with Sawyer. And Crusoe and I are here at the very mucky and rather damp farm um, just to drop off some plaster for the plaster um, that we just bought. So, come on, Crusoe. You ready? Steady? Cool. Yeah! <laughs> cool. What's going on, Crusoe? How's it looking? <laughs> hey. Yeah, it starts to look like it's supposed to. Nice. Yeah, good. So, yeah. Here's the pipe from the sink. Yeah. yeah. See. Si. Yeah, that's then great. We have to do the other side. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Look at that. We've got sink that's pipes. Got drain pipes there and everything already. So cool. Huge irony in the fact that I'm standing here in the rain. The irony being that here we are on the farm, surrounded by water. Everything's absolutely saturated, soaking wet, um, and we don't have any water. And well, the plasterer is asking me for water, and the best solution I've got is to collect it from the blooming roof because we haven't got it anywhere else. Never mind, it's going to work and it's going to be okay. It's clean water, which is the most important thing. And it's water. Okay, so um, we, uh, we were trying to pick these olives up here on this very, very tall olive tree. In fact, it might very well be the world's tallest olive tree. I don't know. We were talking with Joao about 
how to best prune this tree and look at it, make it basically easier to, to get the, the olives down from. Um, Joao's father, he's just, uh, he's, uh, where is he? There he is, just behind us. He's turned up this morning um, just to give us a little bit of advice. This is, uh, you know, again, I, I, I don't know how to say it because it's, we're so grateful and so very blessed to have neighbours and, and friends around this area who we've only just met re in reality six months ago who are helping us out so much. Anyway, Joao's dad's turned up this morning. Um, it's the weekend um, and Joao usually comes and helps us out on the weekends. Um, Joao's dad's turned up with him today and um, said yeah you know what let's get this tree down so um, the plan is to uh, get a rope big rope tie it somewhere over here so that when the tree falls um, it's falling this way and not crash onto the lawn um, just makes it a bit tidier so we're going to go and get some big long rope um, climb up those big tall ladders tie it at the top I'm going to get chainsaw out, chop the tree around about, I don't know, waist, um, yay high. Um, probably best we do all of that before Tara gets here, because otherwise she's going to get here and go, don't cut the tree down. Um, so that's the plan. Wow, and I are popping to the knot garage to see if there is rope in there um, for the project. It's not a cloudy day today. Um, who knows what the knot garage has got inside it. Failed us last time, I think, didn't it? I can't remember what we were looking for, but I had to go and buy it. Anyway. Hmm. Wine bottles, lots of wire. That's not going to be long enough, is it? Wow, I don't think we have. No. I go my farm. Okay. Thanks, you are. Wow, we make olive oil, eh? Yeah?
So Joao is saying that, and uh, Joao's father, um, who's still here, helping us pick up the, the olives, um, he's saying that some of the olives are good for olive oil and some are good for eating, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So we save these ones. These ones are good for eating. We'll give those to Tara and she can make um, uh, salt water, huh? I don't know what she's going to do with them, but anyway, she'll do something with them and then we can eat them. And Crusoe is a big olive fan. Um, so um, hopefully that'll keep him well fed for a few months anyway. Some of the olives, the, I've had flies inside them. You get these little um, holes in the side of them. These are the olives that we're going to be using for olive oil, pressing them. And then other olives, I'll just put that one over here for the olive oil. Other olives, like these ones in here, we haven't collected because we haven't been collecting too many just yet. These ones are perfect. No flies have been in them. Um, and these are the ones that we're going to salt and use for later and, and have, have, um, have as just normal olives. So can't wait for that. That'll be delicious. Imagine them in, the, in jars on the shelf. Yum, yum. All right. So um, busy morning. We've knocked down a, a, a whole olive tree. We've collected two full buckets of olives for, um, for pressing so that we can make olive oil at the end of this month. I'm so excited about that project. Super, super duper cool. There's still a whole bunch of olives left on that tree. Um, so many, in fact, that actually, you know, we've been down there about an hour picking them and collecting them, get, getting them off the floor. Right now, I think that we, I can pass that job over to Tara and Crusoe. They'll really enjoy it. Um, sun's gonna come out a little bit later on as well. So um, I'll get back inside the house there carry on with that project um and tara and uh, tara and crusoe can come and pick up the rest of the olives so here we are the boys and i have come down to the lawn crusoe and i are going to try and strip as much of these olives off the branches as we can so any bad olives can apparently still be made into olive oil and any good olives are the ones that you want to pickle for eating and, and brine. So I'm going to try and go through them and separate them into good and bad and then we'll see what we can make of it. There is, as far as we know, somewhere in town where we can take them to get pressed into oil and it would be so cool to have our own oil and our own olives. So a wee bit overwhelmed with the task at hand, it's quite a big tree, but um, slow and steady wins the race and it is a beautiful day. So it's just lovely to be outside and in the sunshine. Okay, so most of them are on these branches here, which is just above this wall. Um, so I'm gonna try and reach them from where I'm standing and see how we go. This is not easy with um, a baby. Crusoe, please. This is not easy with a baby strapped to you. Let's see how we get on. you just kind of run your hand along the branch and they all come off which they do but they come off really easily so I've just lost most of those in the grass and if I look down in the grass there are loads in the grass which I think means I'm scurrying around on my hands and knees to collect them and now it's a case of sorting them into bad and good bad are going in the dirty bucket which I, I need to clean but we haven't got any water so bad Pocket. Pocket. Mm, bad Pocket. bad Bad. 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 Uh, I think good. Good. Oops. And uh, I have fiddly little beasts. Good and bad. Okay. Let's see how we get on. Right, I'm free. I've loaded Sawyer into the buggy which means that I can now climb onto the ledge, which is where we need to be, to get the olives. Life gets a whole lot easier when you don't have a baby strapped to you. I love having him strapped to me because I know he sleeps then and probably he's going to wake up in two seconds, but it's worth a try. So up we go. You coming, buddy? Should we go up here and pick olives? Come on. Those are good ones, bud. Well done. Bad. 
Well, there you have it. Both of them are asleep. What a beautiful place to have a sleep. I suppose try and crack on with some olives, the ones I can reach anyway without toppling over the edge. The most magical thing just happened. As I was picking the olives, a little flock of tiny grey and black birds arrived and started feeding on the olives. And they didn't, I don't know if they knew I was there or if they just didn't notice my presence, but I just stood very still. They went about their business and after a few minutes, they all flew off to their next stop. I'm sorry I didn't have the camera near me because they were just so lovely. But it was just such a special, just such a lovely way to kind of, I don't know, this is a lovely way to spend time. And after the week we've had, all the weeks we've had, which have been incredibly stressful, incredibly intense, and we don't like to keep talking about it because we really do work hard to be a, a kind of positive space. And, and we always want to kind of bring a positive spin to things, but sometimes it is important to acknowledge when things are really, really hard. To spend this time this morning quietly with nothing but the sound of the birds, um, collecting olives very slowly. I'm not getting anywhere quickly, but um, we're, you know, we're getting somewhere. It has just almost been like a morning of therapy. And part of that also has to do with the fact that every time we cut a tree or we prune something on this farm, I feel so guilty. Now I know it's all a natural process and it's good for the trees and it keeps them healthy and it means that next year we can access the olives at a, a sensible height or the year after, whenever they come back. But at the same time, this tree's worked incredibly hard to grow as big as it did and to, to kind of create this crop of olives that it has this year. So what I'm really enjoying is the feeling of at least making use of the produce from this season um, and making sure that nothing goes to waste so that the energy that this tree and everything that was involved in creating it doesn't go to waste. So hopefully, what doesn't happen now is that all of these olives get collected and sit in buckets stewing for weeks on end and nobody does anything with them because none of us have got any time. So hold me accountable. I'm going to do something with the olives and um, I'm just really, really grateful for all of it. Really it's finally time to start getting these houses ready for us to move back in. We still don't have an actual date just yet, but it's getting closer. And this kitchen has basically become something of a dumping ground since you've been away. There are plates in there that I don't even want to talk about. They've been used, they haven't been washed. There's things growing on them. Um, there's a rowing machine in the middle of the room. 
there's suitcases, there's bottles, there's all sorts. My job today is to start trying to sort that out so that whenever we're ready, it's as easy as just packing up the Airbnb, getting in the car and coming home. And I'm gonna show you in here on condition you don't judge us. It has been a very hectic return to Portugal and this just wasn't a priority. You know when something's so bad, you actually just don't know where to start. I'm kind of like frozen, paralyzed in fear. That story is kicking off, so I bet I go and deal with that first. Genius. Toddler contained. What you doing, buddy? You gonna color? Good idea. Is that good? Rolling, rolling. Is that a yellow one? Hmm. Hmm. Pink? Can you say pink? Daddy. Daddy. Please with that. Yeah. Hopefully. Keep him entertained probably yeah. for about ten yeah. minutes, but you know. Yeah. We take what we can get. What's happened, buddy? So what do you reckon? What's that, darling? All clean. Yeah, I think it looks great, doesn't it? So much better. I think we can now. Uh... Now, it just needs thorough disinfecting um, yeah. and that water tap to work. Yeah, okay. Well, and we can take... move back in. Let me take some pictures, I'll do that tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. It's been such a wonderful week it here really on the farm. Has. It really has. We're all feeling a lot better, a lot brighter. Yeah. Um, and things are looking up. Absolutely. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us a comment. And with any luck, we'll be seeing you next Sunday <laughs> moving back onto the farm. Yeah. That's and the aim. Absolutely. There's so much stuff going on behind us inside that door. And next week, we'll be talking to you a little bit more about this project behind us. It is moving at a pace, and we actually can't keep up with it on YouTube. So Brilliant. things are a little bit behind as far as this room is concerned. If you can't wait, we released an incredible time lapse over on Patreon for our patrons this week. We have. Um, so do go and check that out. But otherwise, we'll see you next week, and we'll update you then. Yeah. Remember, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave, leave us, us a, a comment. comment Love and it. We'll see you next week. See you next week, folks. Bye. <laughs> Where's Crusoe? I don't know, but we should stop waiting these days.